welcome back to Wind Up with Erica. Today we're going to be making almond cranberry chocolate granola bars. Let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, the wine of the day is this Matt Parish. It's a Cabernet oh, from Napa Valley. I have it in my lovely glass right here. It is really good. And that mask you saw, that was just my mask that I just put on for tonight. But the ingredients for our granola bars consist of chocolate chips, almond slices, brown sugar, peanut butter, oats, vanilla extract, our dried cranberries, honey or syrup, and yummy butter. And as you can see, I have my pan right here for the granola bars. You can use parchment paper or I decided to use foil. And as you can see right here, I have my lovely bowls that we're going to use for our granola bars. This is going to be a really simple, easy, yummy, quick dish. Um, this is definitely for something. If you're on the go and you need something quick to eat, you can just grab one of these yummy, delicious things and be on your way. And they're really healthy, really good for you, and I can't wait to make it. So, let's get started. Okay, so in this bowl right here, as you can see, I got peanut butter, I got a little salt, I got butter, I have some vanilla extract in there, <laughs> I have syrup in there, and a little brown sugar. I didn't want to use a lot of brown sugar because my maple oats are maple brown sugar. So I really didn't want to use a lot of syrup, which I did not. And I didn't want to use a lot of brown sugar, which I did not. Um, you can put this on a in a saucepan and put it on um, your stovetop on medium. And just until everything it starts to smooth out and the butter melts. But I'm going to pop it in the microwave for about a good 30 seconds to get it all melted. And then we're going to transfer... This, with our dry ingredients, which is the oatmeal and our dried cranberries and our almonds, and we're going to mix everything together, and then it'll be time to pop these granola bars in the oven in our little pan. So, yay! Um, side note, I will have the recipe, so you'll have all the ingredients, and you'll have all the measurements for um, to make these yummy granola bars, so... So right here we have our oats, oatmeal, my brown sugar oatmeal, and my almonds. And I got the peanut butter and um, butter mixture in there. We're just going to mix all this together. It may be a little hard to do this with one hand, but I'm just going to show you. Do it real quick. Ooh, it looks really good. And we're just going to mix all this together. And obviously, if you want to add more to this, you can double the ingredients. That way you can have more granola. Uh, granola bars or whatnot, but I just did this, so we'll see how many we'll make. But we're gonna mix this together, and then we're gonna add our cranberries and chocolate chips. And I cannot wait to pop it in here. I already have my oven preheated to 325, as you can see. And we're gonna pop it in here for a good probably about 10 minutes. And then after you do that, we're gonna pop them in the refrigerator for about two hours so they can get nice and hard. Then we're gonna cut them up. Ooh, it'll be time to eat it. Yum, yum, yum. All right, look at there. Got the granola bars all in our pan. Nicely packed in there. Like I said, we're going to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. And we're going to take them out and we're going to let them cool. And you can um, store them at room temperature or you can pop them in the refrigerator. And I'm just going to pop them in the refrigerator. And then we're going to cut them into our squares. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> 